YouTube, this is Catfine Jedi, and today, as you might be able to see from my wonderful spread here, we are going to make some pasta with tuna, which equals pasta salad, though there is no actual vegetables in this dish because fuck that. So, what you gonna need? A can of tuna, particularly in water, because if you get the kind with brine and sunflower oil and all that other random garbage, just, ugh, gross. So yeah, can of tuna. Bag of pasta. I like the twisty kind. I haven't bothered to learn what the actual name of these are. Twisty pasta. Some Parmesan cheese. Some garlic powder. Basil. And oregano. Though I'm pretty sure that this is a mix of all herbs that I just decided to stick together in one bottle one day. But we'll just pretend it's oregano. We also need some mayonnaise. Good for everything. This is light mayonnaise, but generally, if you want it to taste better, fuck that diet shit. Salt and pepper. I like peppercorns because I am pretentious. And rock salt because I am equally pretentious. And a bottle of your favorite wine. So... Our ingredients back in one freaking spot. And let's begin. Step one. Open your bottle of wine. Pour a glass. Step two. Drink that fucking shit. Better keep this shit out. Might need more. All right, on to step three. Boil some freaking water. Now, because I live in England and I've learned that these things are useful, finally decided to buy one of these kettles that'll pre-do your freaking water for you. And I will boil some water. Hear that shit sizzle. Okay. While that's going on, you can open your can of tuna. Now, typically, I would make my boyfriend do this, but because he's not in this shot, I can't do that. Ah, so I'm forced to do this by myself. And you should probably drain this crap. Now that we have our tuna steak, which has been drained, we can move on to the next step. Which is, get your pasta out. Make sure to check the instructions, but I'm not even gonna bother. It says 10 to 12 minutes, so boil this crap for 10 to 12 minutes on the stuff behind it. Damn, it's stuck! Open your bag a lot better than I did. And for good measure, just throw some freaking oil in there so it doesn't get all sticky and gross. Okay. Now, stir it together and let nature take its course. That will continue boiling. Meanwhile, pour yourself another glass of wine. I am using about a 9% alcohol, so uh, it's really up to you how much you want to use. Feel free to exchange this with anything else that you enjoy. I like this. Ugh. So much for working on my dissertation later today. That shit's right out the window. Okay, moving on to step two, or three, or four. Whatever the fuck step we're on at this point. Get your tuna out. Get a freaking fork from the back. Lick your lips of delicious wine. Wipe that shit. And pour your tuna into this big giant bowl. Okay, that looks to be about right. And garbage. Then take your mayonnaise. Now, I don't believe in measurements, so just do as ever much as you want. Yep, that seems about right. Okay. The wine's finally starting to kick in now, so we can start stirring this. <laughs> this is looking good, but 
just for good measure, we should add more mayonnaise. More mayonnaise! Okay, well that's in there. We could start adding our other ingredients. So let's begin with our oregano mix of everything. I would say about yay many flicks of the bottle. And the basil may be about two of those. One, two. That looks about right. Looking normal. And stir that shit some more. Now, add some powdered garlic. And I would say just about whatever you like. That looks about right. And Parmesan cheese. It makes everything taste like Italian food. Woo, that looks good. Well, it smells good at least. Now, pour yourself your third glass of wine, which I think is all that I have in here because this is a curiously small bottle. Damn, what the fuck? This is like half a bottle. All right. And take it down. Delicious. Now, let us take our salt and pepper. I guess we'll start with pepper first and whatever you like, just until it starts to look like it's filled with pepper. I'm gonna take your salt and do the same exact shit, except you can't tell if it's filled with salt, so be a little more careful this time. Okay, and now we stir again. Looks great. Put that shit to the side and wait for our pasta to finish freaking boiling. Okay, we are back and far less sober than I remember because that wine is really starting to kick in at this point. And our noodles are cooked, hooray! So, what you do? This is so simple, even a drunk person like me could do it. So you put your noodles in there with your mix of tuna. Uh, I would add more Parmesan cheese because like I said, it makes everything taste awesome. And you take your fork, which is yeah, covered in tuna. You take your fork and you mix this together. They should have gotten a bigger fork. A bigger fork! <laughs> Uh, see, see what I do for you guys on YouTube? I purposely drink in front of the camera because I love you guys. It's out of love. So you better subscribe and like to this shit. Now that it's looking like it's actually like mixed together. You can. Oh, fuck it, it's not coming off. Oh, it's pretty good. I need some salt. Add salt to the taste. And for good measure, just throw some more fucking parmesan cheese in there. Just finish that shit. And stir some more. Okay. <coughs> Done! Your pasta is completed, but I wouldn't serve this hot. Though my freaky stepdad likes it hot, but it's a salad, so let's assume it's cold. So what you do at this point is... Damn it! Take out your aluminum foil. Cover it to preserve moisture and it doesn't get all dry and fucking disgusting. So put it in the fridge. My fridge is full, so I would suggest making your fridge less full. And done. The fucking end. Any questions, comments, or concerns can be left in the comment area. But don't PM me at this point, because it's kind of dumb too. Okay, Doki. This has been Caffeine Jedi. Drinking way too much for this early morning. This time is wrong, by the way. It is not 12.14. It is 1.14. Wrong time. So, actually, it's totally appropriate for me to be drunk right now. The end. Goodbye.